Welcome back to the second channel where I talk about main channel things that I couldn't fully talk about. I made a video titled TikTok tried to warn me about this movie, Skinnamarink. Skinnamarink, a Canadian horror that uh, hadn't even been released anywhere yet. I believe the director slash writer Kyle Edward Ball recently announced that it was actually getting a theater run, which is fucking sick. Oh wait, what? It's a Shutter exclusive? No, it's not. Oh, it is gonna be on Shutter. That's fucking sick. Let's go. Fucking claps in Chad, baby. That's awesome. So what he's saying is that January thirteenth, it's supposed to be in theaters. I don't know how many. I don't know if it's select theaters or whatever the fuck. And then Shutter at some point after. Yo, let's fucking go, Kyle. That's sick. Wanted to see him succeed on this one, you know. And that's coming from someone who couldn't even explicitly say in the video that they liked the movie. I do very much like the experimental side of the movie, and I left that film scared, like a bitch. A lot of movies can't do that. So let's talk about Skinnamarink. I obviously got the idea for the video because um, TikTok. People usually tag me in TikToks, usually with like people talking about disturbing shit. It's always like, yo, okay, top five disturbing movies that made me fucking piss calm out of my mouth. Number one, Serbian film. And, but a lot of people were talking about Skinnamarink. The awkward part there being that Skinnamarink wasn't available anywhere. So that was uh, its, its own hurdle. But let's read the comments here. Karomi said, I'm so shocked that TikTok hyped up an actually scary movie. Hey, what's this fucking saying? <laughs> Even a broken clock is right twice a day, right? You know, sometimes they'd be hyping up some bullshit. They, they got good hearts over there on TikTok. They got good, they got good intentions. There was a thing here. Then, you know, I'll watch it and I'll be like, absolutely. Like Deep House. There was a thing there. There was a thing there. I just didn't really like it that much. That's it. It's just some fucking stupid things there too. OMG Ukra said, can we appreciate GG? deliberate camera positions and the bits of cinematography throughout this video. I uh, feel absolutely undeserving of you even using the word cinematography <laughs> within the video. But yes, there were deliberate camera positions and there were things. The, the, the whole me putting the camera around in so many different positions w was a nod to the movie. Because in the beginning, if you remember, I said that that's what the movie does. The movie has so many fucking different camera positions. So I was like, well, it'd be funny if I just gave that a little nod and tried to make it seem like, you know, you get it. You fucking get it, right? Shut up. <laughs> Alaska Palm said, didn't expect a review of the film to hit 35K so quickly. I'm the DP that shot this for Kyle. And although the film style may not be for everyone, the team is super stoked that all the support everyone's been giving them. I don't want to say too much, but we'll say that there's an announcement coming soon and to stay tuned. And we just got that fucking announcement. He posted that only five days ago. That's awesome. He said he didn't expect the review of the film to hit 35K so quickly. I find that incredibly odd. The video has been doing great. It's at 235 now, but I'm surprised he even said that to begin with. Maybe it's a bit of humble, but on TikTok, that movie was kind of blown up. You know, I think some of the TikToks talking about it had to be getting like what, or like low million views, high hundred thousand views. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. I wish you guys all the success on this. Noble Savage said, I have read that the loss at home experience from the kids POV was meant as a metaphor for how they felt alone and afraid as a result of their parents intended divorce. The mother, when she appears on the bed saying something along the lines of your father and I love you very much, which is the cliche intro to the and we're separating conversation. Regardless, this was a 90 plus minute panic attack with zero breaks in the tension. One of the most visceral reactions I've had to a movie in a long time. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Kind of having their home physically and metaphorically deteriorate too. Like you're losing your sense of home. It's it's no longer home. Now you're going to have separate households. You know, them saying, why has no one come to help us? You know, and it's like, well, who can you ask for? You would usually ask your parents to help you. Well, when your parents are dealing, are the ones dealing with the bad news. I mean, who else do you go to? Interesting. Interesting way to look at it, for sure. Vic Rice said, it made me shit my ass. I laughed pretty hard at that unexpected one. Yeah, sometimes I'll say stuff out loud or say stuff in the script. And I'll be like, that sounds funny. They made me fucking piss calm out of my mouth. Like the words combined just sound funny so i want to say that awesome <laughs> shay butter said what do we do to deserve this consistency from you i'm not sure what you're referring to shay if you're referring to upload consistency i don't think so unless you mean quality i mean either way it's a compliment and i'm taking the compliment thank you shay i appreciate that well, i guess i had been kind of uploading weekly leading up to that and that trend's actually going to continue so maybe that's what you're referring to getting weekly videos Sure, I'll take it. NRG said, I think the movie is truly a masterpiece of ambiance and atmosphere. It legit makes you feel that childhood fear when you were home alone. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. 
the world is out to get you and you're not even safe in your own home everything is creepy someone's watching you man i'm just plagued with horror brain i know a lot of people are dude i'll be walking down my hallway and i just keep thinking someone's just gonna pop out in front <laughs> Yeah, some fucking crazy lady bloody in the face with a gown. And I'm gonna be like, I don't know what to do. You know, you see a robber, it's like, okay, fight or flight. I either gotta go murder this guy or I gotta run. But when you see like fucking Satan herself, it's like, well, what? Sure, fight or flight, but I'm not going near that bitch. Running away is useless. What do you do? Just die, I guess. Jenna Ember said, this is one of those rare times where I will not watch a horror movie because it genuinely seems too terrifying for me. Hey, it very well could be. Or you could just give it give, give it a shot. Maybe put it on a monitor really far away. Play it through the speakers at like half volume. Put like the brightness down to like, actually don't put the brightness down. You will see nothing in that movie if you put the brightness down. Invite five friends, you'll figure it out. Jack Bauer is dead said, you are definitely my favorite movie reviewer on YouTube, especially horror. Your videos are always so entertaining, a lot of times more entertaining than the movies themselves. Hey, I'm here to provide. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. Wolfbane said, the name Skinamarink was something I swear I had heard before, but it wasn't until I did what Gigi did and say it out loud that I was able to place it. The Sharon Lewis and Bram's Elephant Show. It's so strange how old catchy jingles and songs from kids shows and commercials can be buried deep in one's head. Absolutely. And I've talked about this before and uh, some more butter content, I think, where I was like, it should be rather unsettling how easily we can just see a commercial an ad a thing that we are not trying to watch no one was trying to watch commercials when they were a child we knew this was the intermission but you play me a commercial from 2001 all of a sudden i'm fucking naming off all the words i know everything i know exactly where they were selling i know exactly what it looked like marketing not okay. A Rick Brand said, this really reminds me of House of Leaves by Mark. One of the weirdest, most fascinating novels I've ever read. The narratives are all over the place, but the main story concerns the Navidson record about a family living in a house that's bigger on the inside than the outside. And that's all I'm going to tell you. From your description, I'm pretty sure the writer director was heavily inspired by the aspect of the book. Interesting. Never fucking heard of it, but if he was dope, good call out. Jade said, my best friend and I watched Skin and Marine two nights ago and it gave me so much anxiety. I struggled to sleep. I'm normally fine with horror, but this one genuinely had me looking over my shoulder throughout the whole night. Very good movie. I loved almost every single aspect of it. I mean, yeah, like I said, I was on the same vibe. You know, I wasn't trying to lie to you guys and trying to make you think that this was scarier than it actually is. But man, I had, I just had the fucking creeps. I got out of my office and I was just, just looking around. Kind of had like, like semi jeebies. You know what I mean? Even though in my mind, I was like, I mean, you got nothing to be afraid of. But it was also just like, fuck, it just had this little lasting effect on you. And that's something very much to commend a movie for. Complaints aside. You know, you're able to get that reaction out of me. Touche. Kiz3296 said, Skidamarink is by far the scariest thing I've ever watched and to a much deeper extent than anything I've watched before. It is by far the most evil, unforgiving, and uncomfortable experiences of my entire life. If that isn't a fucking quotation mark on the cover of the DVD, I don't know what should be. Trevor said, quotations, I'm sick for this video. Proceeds to do an extremely animated style of review around his house to make us laugh. GG, you are an absolute treasure. Thank you. That video, I mean, the video in itself was very much a uh, last second audible <laughs> um, in, in terms of gathering that video and having it edited shout out scout it was a whole thing especially with the sickness so i got into flu and that set me that set my schedule back you know when, when you're working with the video deadlines and you fucking get clonked out for like two three days whew, schedule's fucked my guy and you got to get your ass to work but gl glad you guys enjoyed it i did get a lot of compliments regarding the camera setups the way i talked about the film the editing everything so i appreciate the reception to this video and hopefully by the time you're watching this there has been even another uh. review brought out so i think we can end it right there guys thank you for watching the second channel video like subscribe let's get mr g dubs fucking off and popping baby but as always i am mr gg and i am out oh.